Today we're talking about 10 things you must put on your actor website. The days are gone when your headshot and resume were the only marketing tools an actor needed. Today, your website is a home base for all of your marketing materials, your headshot, your resume, your reel, and your social media. A professional looking actor website tells us you're a professional and that you're serious about your career. Here's what needs to be on it. Number one, your professional name in a prominent place. It might seem obvious, but you'd be surprised how many many times it's super hard to find. Number two, union affiliations. If you are a union actor, make sure to give your union affiliations prime real estate right near your name. Now, if you're not in a union, no need to put anything. Number three, photos of you. Choose one photo to headline your site and make sure you use this consistently on your social media as well for brand recognition. And of course, include some headshots that show us what you're most castable as, but just a few. You don't need to put your entire proof sheet on your website. And production stills are awesome too. Make sure you show us some sort of photos of you in action on set, in rehearsal, or on stage. Now here's a bonus tip when it comes to photos. Next time you have your headshots taken, make sure you ask the photographer to take a few landscape photos because they look better as the header for your website. Number four, a killer about me page. This is where you can really set yourself apart from other actors and tell your story. But this is different than a bio in a program. Write this in first person, it's more personal, and it makes us feel like you're talking to us. I'll link to an article of mine in the description below that shows you how to write a killer About Me section for your website. Your About Me page is also a great place to house a third person bio in a downloadable PDF form. You wanna have this third person bio that someone can pull easily for press interviews or programs. So you will actually have both. You'll lead with the About Me page in first person, but then have a third person and bio for press and interviews that is easy to download. Number six is so important. You want to have a properly formatted and updated resume on your site. Feel free to have it right up on the screen so we can easily see your credits, but also make sure you have an easy to download PDF version right underneath that. Before we move on to those final three things, I want to know, do you have a website for your career? Hop in the comments below and let us know your website URL so we can take a peek. So number seven, include some media. This may be your reel if you're a film and TV actor, or maybe performance clips if you're a theater actor. Don't just send them over to YouTube. Make sure they're embedded on your website because after they watch, you want them to contact you, find out more about you, not watch the next suggested video. And choose wisely. You don't have to put all your performance clips on your website. Pick the ones that best represent what you're most castable as right now. Number eight, so important, your contact information. If you have an agent or a manager, you could put their information on your site. But very important, make sure people have a way to contact you too. A simple contact form is a good way to do it. Also remember, anyone in the whole universe can visit your website, so make sure you don't include any personal information like a home address or a personal phone number on your website. Number nine, career updates. And a great place to do this on your website is the blog. A blog is a fantastic way to update your fans about what you're working on. And if you've been given the okay to do so, share about your most recent project, maybe it's production stills, behind the scenes photos, or even video clips. You can even embed posts from social media on your blog just by clicking on this button and grabbing the code. This is gonna help you grow your social media following with your website visitors. Your website visitors can actually click right over to your social media, so it will actually help grow your following as well. I've got a number 10 and a bonus tip for you. Number 10 is include your social media links and follow buttons. This could be your YouTube channel, Twitter, Instagram, or your Facebook page. You can also include links to your IMDb or your actor's access. And your bonus tip is to add a mailing list to capture the email addresses of your fans and industry contacts so you can let them know when you have important career updates to announce. Now there are a lot of choices to set up an email list, but MailChimp is probably the most economical for actors and it's free for up to 2,000 subscribers. I'll put that link, the About Me page worksheet, and some of my favorite actor website resources in the description below. Well, now that your website rocks, let's work on your social media. These will help. I'll see you on social.